So today we are going to continue to talk about different genres of the stories that we read. Uh, we'll also keep reviewing the idea of theme. So as we think about the genre of adventure, adventure stories are, it's a genre of fiction that usually presents danger, gives the reader some sort of sense of excitement, it builds suspense, and a lot of times the characters are, whether it is something that is possible or not realistic at all, there's definitely uh, things that the authors do to grab your attention and create this sense of adventure throughout the book. Uh, so what we're going to do to practice and to model here, I'm going to look at this story called Riptide. So I'm going to click on this and read this to you. Let me make it a little bit larger. So let's look at this text. It says, Mira looked up and down the deserted beach at the choppy water and immense waves. And then at her friend Ashley. We're here so early, the lifeguards aren't even on duty yet. Yes, her friend agreed. And the beach is empty. So we have it all to ourselves. The two girls were visiting Ashley's grandmother, who lived a couple of blocks from the beach. And they had woken up at six o'clock to take an early morning swim. I'd feel a lot safer if there were lifeguards watching out for us. Mira fretted. But we're not swimming alone, Ashley insisted, and that's the first rule of swimming safety. Besides, you know we're both good swimmers, and we'll look out for each other. Ashley tossed her towel on the sand, took off her hoodie, and started trotting toward the surf. Mira frowned and then shrugged, eagerly racing up to catch up uh, with Ashley as the girls dove under an enormous wave that crashed over them. Something bizarre happened. When they surfaced, both were quite a distance from the shore. Treading water, the astonished girls looked at each other and then began swimming in. But when Mira looked up to check their progress, she gasped. They were now even farther from the shore. She caught up to Ashley and grabbed her friend's arm to stop her. What's happening to us? She sputtered. It doesn't make sense that we're getting farther and farther from the shore. Ashley's eyes widened as she recalled a news report that she had heard a few weeks ago. I've heard about something like this. We must be in a riptide, which is caused by big waves that have created a break in a sandbar offshore. This sets up a fast moving current that pulls everything in it out to sea. Can we're in it? Mira felt a sense of panic rise up in her throat as she twisted her head around and looked back at the shore. Oh no, we're even farther from the shore now and we're going to drown. She moaned desperately. We're going to be okay, Mira. Ashley reassured her friend. We just have to swim parallel to the shore, not into the shore, because rip currents aren't that big and we'll be able to swim out of it. Mira nodded, and the girls began swimming. Once they stopped feeling the pull of the current, they turned and headed into the shore. Exhausted from swimming, they dragged themselves across the beach and dropped onto their towels. Mira turned and hugged her friend. Ashley, you saved us, she cried gratefully. Ashley grimly shook her head and confessed, No. I put us in danger by not listening to you in the first place when you wanted to wait for the lifeguards. They would know by looking at the water that something is wrong. I've got an idea, said Mira. When we go home, let's get on your grandmother's computer. We can learn more about riptides. So we have this story. Certainly was an adventure here. But I want to look at... Um, is this idea when we talk about analyzing Riptide here thinking about okay who are the characters I want you to think of their name alright so who is the main character that's the protagonist that is the main one usually this is the quote unquote good guy the person that we're focusing on now this is a little bit interesting so I want you to think about who of these characters is the main character maybe the one that um is the quote-unquote good guy. 
All right. Now think, what is the problem to solve or their journey or their adventure that they have? All right. The antagonist. Usually this is somebody that might cause the problem or, or go against the main character. In this case, there's not necessarily a true ant antagonist, um, but there is something, a force that they have to reckon with. And then what happens in the end? Think through that. And then the overall theme or lesson or moral that we learn here. All right? So just brainstorming. Uh, the characters are Mira and Ashley. The main character, really, if you want to focus on the one that is uh, really experiencing this danger and um, really is doing all the right things, Mira other than she jumped in and followed her friend, but Ashley Moore is part of the reason for the problem. She also helped save the day. So Mira will put as uh, the protagonist, but really the Mira and um, Ashley both have similar uh, journeys in this story. So the problem, of course, the girls swam in the water. They're pulled away from the shore by the riptide, and they had to deal with these very... Um, dangerous events that they were they were very worried that perhaps they were life threatening the antagonist here if you say as a person Ashley with her poor choice could be considered that or if you just want to focus on the tide you know the water the force that uh, caused a problem for them that could be considered the antagonist in the ending of course the girls swam parallel to the shore made it back safely that's really the, the t intense moment, the climax of the story, what was going to happen, and then realizing, okay, this is our chance to, to solve this problem and get to safety. And then the theme, you could say this in a lot of different ways. Um, so you could say uh, something here that it's important. It's cut off a little bit. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, it's important to consider the consequences before you jump into something that may cause you harm. So you need to think before you act um, or be more cautious when you're in potential danger. Something like that if it's a moral or a lesson that is not just this story, but it can be applied to most people's lives. Um, so it's not just specific about the water, or being careful with the water. It's more all situations, a lesson that you could learn. Okay? So today... What you're going to do is focus on this story, When the Fires Came. And you're going to read this adventure story and identify the different parts of the story as well as the theme. Um, this is connected here, but also it's in your assignment. So you're going to read that um, in here automatically play, but I'll move on to this slide. So today you're going to complete this assignment that's in its learning. Uh, if you have a scheduled conference, make sure you show up for that. We're working on our power goal of figurative language. Uh, read for 30 minutes in class and 30 minutes for homework. And please make sure you're filling out that reading step log. All right, you guys are awesome. Work hard. Have a good day.